Who are you? Are you Justice Department? What are you, CIA? No. What's on here? Hey, you know better than me. Look, you're in a lot of trouble, and I don't know if I can help you out, so you better start talking now. I don't know what it is. A bunch of static. Static? Yeah, I was messing with the dials a few days ago, and I picked it up. I hear recording, I fit into the computer. I don't know what it is. Hey, who are you? I'm not government. Well, what are you gonna do to me? I'm not gonna do anything to you. Well, who are those guys? Run! Get the disc. In 1964, Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Kate Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them. I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Century 5, Quatrain 81. Dusk will become dawn and the man twice blessed will be resurrected. The follower will beckon him to the great war ahead. I had no idea what Nostradamus was talking about till we got a message on the website from someone claiming to be the alien I know as Joshua. He asked me to meet him in an abandoned lot in Cleveland, Ohio. I don't trust him. But when an alien agent calls and asks for a meeting, I can't exactly say no. distance. I wasn't sure you'd come. I'm here. What's all this about? There's a computer disk. What kind of disk? One of our transmissions was intercepted by someone in the Cleveland area. The suspect used a radio handle rover. Apparently a recording was made on disk. That's it? That's all you're gonna tell me? How much more do you need? What is this, Joshua? Another one of your tests? Forget it. You can tell your friends I ain't playing. That would be up to you. But as I think you know, we will find the disc. 
and the person who has it. If you'd like to help this person, you need to do so quickly. You hear all that? Yeah, loud and clear. Someone in Cleveland intercepted a Gua transmission. Handles Rover. Why does Joshua want to help us? I don't know. Maybe he's against what his race is doing here. Or maybe he's trying to set me up. Yeah, well, I don't like it, Foster. I say we cut bait and move on. I want to know why that disc is so important to my new best friend. If Rover's out there, I want him first. Eddie, you've been at it for three hours. How much longer? I've created a specialized search engine to locate requests for information on government conspiracies. Maybe our guy had questions about the transmission he picked up, went out over the net. I searched for the handle Rover. What's that? That's our search list. Well, check this out. We got a Range Rover on the block at a government auction. Maybe we should trade in the old caddy. How much longer, Eddie? All right, all right. Patience, pal. I'm zeroing in on it. Bingo. Need info regarding government codes on radio transmissions. Rover. Must be your boy. He thinks it's the government. Yeah, it looks like it. Says he picked it up using a modified ham radio. No way the Gua would use ham radio frequencies. Well, maybe the Gua sent stuff outside of the standard spectrum. Rover probably used a DRF modulator to detect it. DRF? Dynamic radio frequency modulator. It's used to pick up extreme high and low frequency radio signals. It's what techno geeks call serious hardware. Can you find the geek? No problemo. Roll over, Rover. You can run, but you can't hide from Crazy Eddie. <laughs> I'm looking for someone in the building who owns a ham radio. Who are you? My name is Agent Fleming. I'm with the FCC. Can you tell me who owns the ham radio? My son, Stephen. What do you want with him? I don't mean to alarm you. It's important that I speak to your son. We've learned that he may quite accidentally have come into possession of some rather delicate information. He may be in some danger. That's ridiculous. Stephen is only 17. What could he possibly That's get in? That's classified commission business, ma'am. I need to speak to your son. He's in the basement. He has a hole set up. His radio's down there. Nice setup, Steven. What's that? Uh, I think that's a Samoan dialect. Maybe Pago Pago. Who are you? He's with the FCC. My name's Fleming. Yeah, listen, I'm straight. Uh, I got my ham radio license and everything. Oh, I know. Nice gear. I see you got your radio hooked up to your hard drive. Yeah, um, it's all legal. Well, I'm not uh, here to accuse you of doing anything wrong, Stephen. I was hoping you could help me out. 
Looks like you spend a lot of time down here. Yeah, that's right. I moved Steven here from Hong Kong last year. He hasn't made many friends. Yeah, Hong Kong is a lot cooler than Cleveland. I know what it's like to leave your home behind. Guess you can stay in touch with your friends on that thing, though, huh? My friends, the world, no, no one cares where you're from. Wanted to ask you about a radio transmission you recorded. Uh, I don't know what you mean. What's on this disc, Stephen? Um, it's, uh... Just this department? What are you, CIA? No. What's on here? Hey, you know better than me. Look, you're in a lot of trouble, and I don't know if I can help you out, so you better start talking now. I don't know what it is. A bunch of static. Static? Yeah, I was missing with the dials a few days ago, and I picked it up. I hear recording, I fit into the computer. I don't know what it is. Hey, who are you? I'm not government. Well, what are you gonna do to me? I'm not gonna do anything to you. Who are those guys? Run! Really, Kate Foster. And you just put a gun to my head. I put a gun to your head to save your life. Well, now that's an original approach. I've come to take you back, Kate Foster. Who the hell are you? I've traveled from your future. Sure, you have. You were supposed to die back there. They killed you. An intensive nationwide manhunt ended in a hail of bullets yesterday when unknown assailants gunned down escaped felon Kate Foster on a downtown street. After your death, there was no one to capably lead the human resistance. No one to stop them from recommending a launch. They sent the others in the second wave soon after. Nineteen million died in one day. This is some kind of gua test, lady. Your journal survived in cyberspace. But you taught us about the Gua. It was the only information we had. You were a hero. But they're winning. So many people are gone. There are so few of us left, and the third wave is about to begin. We need you. We need a leader. You're our only hope. And what about the kid? Who? The boy, they still have him. What happens to the boy? I wasn't sent back to save the boy. I was sent back to save Cade Foster. I don't believe you. Century 5, Quatrain 81. Dusk becomes dawn, and the man twice blessed is resurrected. The follower beckons him to the great war ahead. How the hell could... I had no idea what Nostradamus was talking about until we got a message on the website from someone claiming to be the alien I know as Joshua. He asked me to meet him in an abandoned lot in Cleveland, Ohio. I don't trust him. So you found my journals. We knew the Gua would find them eventually. You want proof? If 
I were alien, I'd heal. You taught us that. Hey, howdy. Hello. Who are you? My name's Liz Beth. She says she came back from the future to save my life. Sense of humor, too. She came out of thin air. We gotta take a look at this disc. Apparently the guac killed me over it. Wait a minute, they what? She what? It's not over yet. Foster's still in danger. No one knows what happens when you alter events. They could very easily kill him again. Oh, man. Foster, she's conning us. She doesn't know the first thing about Temporal time travel. quantum substitution. Matter from one position in space-time is replaced by matter from another. Oh, you're saying you move atoms through time? No way, Jose. Time is determined by a measure of the decay of carbon-14 atoms... Into, into nitrogen-14 atoms. But then you're saying that you reverse... They figured out a way to send me back. If you can travel through time, why don't you bring soldiers and weapons back to stop them before it happens? We don't have an army to send back. You want to know about the future? The Gua annihilate two-thirds of the human race. The rest are used as slaves. A few thousand of us survive in the tunnels beneath the major cities. We fight back. We're the resistance. They occupy our bodies. They rule the earth in human form. And they're on the verge of wiping us out. Which is why I came back for you, Cade Foster. What about my journals? Can they help? People were afraid. Everything we're doing means nothing. No, but that was in the future that I'm from. The future in which you died yesterday. So maybe now the future is different. People stay the same. Well, they'll always be cowards. Maybe, in the next future, the resistance of thousands will become millions. By saving my life, you've changed the future in ways that we can't even imagine. Maybe for the worse. I have to go back in two days. The coordinates are locked in. Foster has to come back. He can't go back. He has no choice. First things first. I want to see what's on this disc. This is what they're after? They're going to kill a kid over a bunch of static? Could be an encoded transmission. Could say which day he picked it up. Last Tuesday. I thought so. Web Weather said there was an electrical storm in Cleveland last Tuesday. If the Gua were transmitting into space, an ionic distortion might have bounced the signal back down to Earth. That would explain how the kid picked it up. Can we figure out where the signal originated from? You know, not without his hardware. I needed to triangulate the signal. All of it? And just a DRF modulator. If the Gua took the kid, then for sure they cleared out that basement. If the kid's a real technobeak, then for sure he hid his best equipment. Get me that, we find the Gua. This is insane. We find that hardware, we find the kid in the place the Gua broadcast from. That sounds so nuts to me. They killed you once, they can kill you again. You're dead in this time, you could live in mine. I thought you wanted to change history. Seems to me that if you just grabbed me up, it wouldn't amount to much of a change. It's just the same thing as if I died. Not to you. Joshua. But he's just a boy. What could he have in there? Why would anyone want to hurt him? Kate Foster is a convicted killer. I don't think anyone really understands why he does what he does. 
Now, I don't want to frighten you or anything, but he may return. If he does, you should get yourself to safety and inform us immediately. We'll catch him. I promise you. And can Stephen come home? Not until it's safe. I'll be in touch. Joshua. Yeah. My new best friend. All right, I need you to go into the restaurant and distract Stephen's mom. What for? So I can get into the basement. This is ridiculous. Are you going to help me or not? Because I'm going in there one way or the other. Okay. What do you want me to do? Order Chinese. Jeez. Um, I'll have... What's that, shrimp fried rice? You still have shrimp? I'll take three of those. Sautéed beef with oyster sauce, chicken with ginger, and Fu's special chow. Me. Is that all? Yes. No, no, wait, uh... Fortune cookie? A cookie that tells the future? Mm-hmm. I'll take ten. Is that all, Miss? Yes. Cash or credit? Um, uh, cash? Um, you know what? On second thought, I don't think I'm in the mood for Chinese tonight. Sorry. Took you long enough. Let's get out of here. I'll take that. Don't do it, Joshua. Do I know you? No. But I know you. I was six years old. Agua killed my parents and put me in a camp. There were hundreds of us. You set us free. What's she talking about? Your future, Joshua. You and Foster inspired us to fight. Future. Even if that were possible, you'd be mistaken. I'd never help humans kill Gua. Not now. But you will. Hold it! You son of a bitch. You set me up. You used me to find the kid. Maybe you set yourself up. Maybe you're starting to get predictable. Maybe. Let's go. Eddie? All right, I'm analyzing it. In the meantime, I cracked part of the code on the disk. What is that? Well, there were sequences of pi interspersed throughout, then layered over a binary base. See, the code was generated with Avogadro's theorem. What does it mean, Eddie? I'm the faintest idea. Well, it must be important if they want it back so badly. Empiricist. You can read this? Over the years, we learned a little of the Gua code. Not much. It's more like recognizing syllables than actually reading. If she can decipher some of this, you think you can crack the rest? Yeah, maybe, but uh, it'll take time. Days, at least. Oh, we don't have days. I have to take him back. We have to find that kid. They'll never let him live if they think that he's got this. Are you out of your mind? You know, I'm getting a little tired of that question. We need you. How many times do I have to say it? He needs me, too. 
This is tough. I have one more day before quantum substitution becomes permanent. That means you and I are initiating reuptake and I'm taking you back to my time. I never said I was going back, Lizbeth. He's not going back. To, to walk into danger, to save one life when so many are at stake, it, it's foolish. I don't want to live in a world where one life doesn't matter. In my world, no life matters. And the Guav have already won. You're talking about one person who was supposed to die anyway. I got a second chance. He gets one too. All right, Kate Foster. I'll help you if I can. I use Stevens equipment to triangulate the origin of the signal. It's coming from Pioneer Plaza, downtown Cleveland. The building has to have a transmitter, right? Hamner Communications Building. They have cable satellites. I can't do it! Uh... The, uh, the V goes in the front. These strings are too long. Oh, here. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. It goes through here. It's like this. There, like this. What? It's nothing. It looks good on you. What? Nothing. Tickles. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've seen you smile. Yeah, uh, you look, uh, you look really great. <laughs> Do I? It's the first time I've ever worn a dress. You've never worn a dress? We live beneath the cities in tunnels. There's no use for dresses. It'll help you blend in. Um, oh, here. What's that? Uh, lipstick. Autumn Rhapsody. One of my favorites. Heavy? Um, here, you, uh... You have to, um... Mm. Um... Boss, is she... She has to, you know. I I'm, I'm not exactly an expert, you know. You had me going. No. No. <laughs> it looks good. I, I don't recognize myself. That's the idea. What, this? Yes, it, it's so light. And all the people look so happy. Look, <laughs> children. It's bad what happens, isn't it? I told you it's, it's bad. But we have hope. We hope that you'll help us bring the world back. There's the building. Let's just hang tight and see if there's any sign of the kid. What's that? What's that man eating? Here, come on. Grab two, please. It's 
Some people like to put mustard on it, but I'm more of a ketchup man myself. Ketchup? Yeah, mustard just drowns out the flavor of the dog, but ketchup, well, they just taste great. The dog tastes great, the ketchup... Dog, you eat dog? No, it's, it's Even just... Even in our times of famine, we resisted the temptation. No, it's, a, it's just a nickname. It's a, it's a hot dog. It's, um, it's made with beef or pork or, or tofu. <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> hey, there's time. There is it. That's the boy's mother. What do we do? Do we follow her? No. We wait. Tell them that. They think I know something. Like what? I don't know anything. What? There's no point keeping them around. They don't know anything. Be patient. Foster has the disc. Precisely. If the boy doesn't have it, he's just a liability. I see no reason why we can't dispose of him and the woman immediately. Agreed. Stop. Killing them won't get us what we want. Bring me the boy and send the woman home. What is it? Foster's in the plaza. How'd you know he'd find us? I know Foster. Busted. Come on, we gotta go. What are you doing, Joshua? Setting the terms of the deal. Why are we here? I just needed some place to think. Joshua's messing with my brain. He's a great strategist. If I give him the disc, he'll give me the kid. You can't do that. You don't know what, what is on the disc. Could have information that we could use to stop them. I thought we were going to the future. We are. Of course we are. You don't want to go back. The world doesn't look like this in my time. What does it look like? Nothing but war. Hate, fear. And it's so lonely. There's no love, no beauty, even tenderness. There's just no time. I sometimes feel that way about this world. It's different. I can see how you'd sacrifice yourself for that boy. I can see the difference. I don't know if I could survive in your future, Elizabeth. I admire your bravery. We were inspired by you, Kate Foster. Kate. Just Kate. I've read your journal a thousand times. In my dreams, I've walked with you through every town, fought with you in every battle. I understand you, Kate. I know what you've lost. You served her memory well. I can see why Hannah loved you. Hey. What time you guys got back here? What do you see? Eddie, 
I have to change. We don't have much time. You're gonna go with her. You gotta copy that disc. Can't do it, man. Guam put a self-destruction virus in the transmission to stop any secondary copying. Then we got no choice. I'm gonna have to trade the original for the kid. Then you're going? I didn't get the disc. I'll take that. I can't. You know I have to. We can take it back with us. Decode it later. I'm trading the disc for the boy. Okay, the boy will be fine. I'll, I'll come back and save him for you. You said no one fully understands time travel. How can you make a promise like that? You saved my life. Maybe that was enough to make a difference. Maybe you stopped the second wave already. I don't know. I don't know anything except what I think I should be doing here. Today. I can't take care of someone else's future by running away from my own present. You could stay. I know you don't want to go back. I need you here. I can't. I'm like you, Kate. I know where my duty lies. It's not here. And you have to go. Yes. In my time, you're known as a great and wise man, Crazy Eddie. I am? I'm honored to have met you. Likewise. You know, if you still need somebody to go back with you... Never mind. Place. Yes, they take the coordinates off where I came in. Please, go. It's not safe for you here. Am I ever going to see you again? The only thing that helps is knowing that you'll live. I will live. I promise. Maybe I'll make your future a better place. I love you, Kate Foster. Please go.
right, Stephen? Why don't you take a step forward, son? We get you home. Let's see the disc first. How do I know that's really it? You know. Get the car, Stephen. What's on that disc, Joshua? That's not your concern. You used me to find it. I'll remember that the next time you come calling. You need to think about this a little harder. Eventually, you would have found both the boy and the disc. This way, you get what you want. The boy's alive, isn't he? Come on, Joshua, that's why you did it? Save his life? This disc contains the Earth identities of 200 of our Gua operatives. You get your boy, I get my operatives. Maybe we're not so different, Foster. I know my place in the world. I'm the twice-blessed man. I was born, I died, and was born again. Was sparing my life enough to change future events? Is it possible that what Lisbeth gave to our time was enough to save hers? I don't know. But every action we take today has a consequence on all our tomorrows. With resurrection comes new hope for the future has yet to be written.